This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are cooking with Go Providence. Chef Nemo joins us from Cook and Brown Public House to make a, a nice hearty dish for, for people staying at home today, I'm definitely, sure. Definitely, definitely. What are we making today? Uh, we're going to make Narragansett Creamery Ricotta Gnocchi. Yum. Um, Sounds great. It's really great. It uses a local product, Narragansett Creamery Ricotta, mm -hmm. which is extremely fresh, really light, clean tasting. Um, and this is a little bit different than your kind of standard potato gnocchi. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it's pretty rich, but um, it's it's really wonderful and simple to make. So what else do we need in addition to the? the so we have the, the ricotta, a little mm -hmm. bit of all-purpose flour, okay. uh, one egg and salt. And basically that's the whole recipe for the gnocchi itself. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're going to show us how to do that later, later because we're, I'm curious. We're going to just uh, whip it up and it's kind of a uh, if you're making it at home, you can almost eyeball it. We'll, okay. we'll give the measurements, but um, for the most part, you want it to just have enough flour to hold it together. Okay. So it's really, really light. Excellent. Um, and then just some seasonal accompaniments with it. Today right. we're going to use sweet potato puree, some braised greens, a little bit of pumpkin seeds, and some breadcrumbs. Uh, and then we just use some olive oil and butter to finish it. All right, perfect fall flavors all coming together. And uh, if you're at home, you might want to make this dish today. We're going to start cooking up in just a little bit. Back to you. It's going very well. Yes, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Nemo is here from Cook and Brown. And we are going to get ready to prepare some... Narragansett Creamery Ricotta Gnocchi. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. All right, take us to the steps. So... Like we were saying earlier, kind of an eyeball recipe. As you can see, we have a couple cups of the ricotta cheese right here. Okay. Uh, right into a food processor. And just a single large egg. Drop that in there. Drop it in there. Pinch of salt. We'll adjust later. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. You're a casual <laughs> chef. Yeah. <laughs> this is more... Um, more like a grandmother's recipe. That's okay. Grandmother's uh, recipes are always good. Which we really like. So all-purpose flour. About how much you're going to put in there? Just uh, a rough guess? It's about a half a cup to start, uh, and then we'll see. Sometimes with the freshness of the ricotta, there's a little bit more liquid, okay. a little more moisture. So you kind of have to eyeball it. And, and that by putting in the extra flour, that'll adjust for it and kind of dry it up. Exactly. And what and we're going to do is just kind of bring it together until uh, it forms a, a ball. but. You want it to be really light still. Nothing dense, obviously, with right. the so, so mix that together. Mix it together and then just kind of wipe it down and make sure that there's no streaks of flour still in there. So make sure everything's completely mixed in together. Completely mixed in. Okay. If you're like me, take a little of the raw dough. Right. Give taste it a taste. It. Has enough salt, so that's great. Okay. Uh, what we've done is transferred it into a piping bag, a yep. pastry bag. And we'll use um, that later. And we'll use it later, and right. then we'll just form the gnocchi okay. from that. Okay, good. All right, we are uh, cooking away here. I know the storm's on the way, but we're still cooking. We're still hungry. In the meantime, back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, go Providence.com. Chef Nemo's here from Cooking Brown, and we are uh, cooking away. Even though the storm's coming, nothing's stopping you. <laughs> nothing's no stopping you. He's a brave soul You are a brave man. All right, Chef, where do we stand now? You guys just made the, uh, the gnocchi in the last mm -hmm. thing, right? Yeah, we put together the gnocchi dough, um, and we put it into a piping bag. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to, you could use a couple spoons um, and make them really rustic, but... Uh, That's the easiest way to do it. We think so, especially if you're going to make it for a, a crowd. Right. Yeah. Um, so what we do is, I'm going to have you do this. Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, we're just going to cut them in. We warm the knife up a little bit, so it'll make a clean cut, and then okay. just... Drop them in. Drop okay. them right yeah. into the water. Right. Uh, we end up using simmering water instead of a hard boil. We want it just mm -hmm. to be a really light... Uh, and about how big? Go just... Just to eyeball it. Good? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> They'll end up expanding just a little bit uh, okay. in the water um, and getting a little bit larger. And every once in a while, if it starts to get some dough on the knife, you uh -huh. can just uh, dip it back into okay. the water. Do you add anything else to the water to, for flavoring or make sure they don't stick together? Or Just some salt. Just some salt. Uh, okay. Yeah, we want to add the flavor um, on the outside. But other than that, it's just mm -hmm. salt and water. And, you know, for this, we're really highlighting the flavor of the local ricotta. Nice. You're just letting that knife sit in there. <laughs> yeah, just let it sit in there. <laughs> just stick it in there for a couple uh, minutes and then figure in. it out. Um, and then today, uh, we're using some fall ingredients mm -hmm. um, to finish the dish. Uh, but really, this works, I think, year-round. Okay. Um, so for today, it's uh, rainbow chard. Um, but any kind of braised greens, hearty greens, things like that are really great. And um, we went with a sweet potato puree, but you can mm -hmm. use pumpkin or butternut squash, um, anything like that that adds a little bit of natural sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, and then the greens, 
uh, are really iron rich and hearty. And then we're going to finish it. Dish. We're going to finish it with some fresh herbs, um, okay. a mixture called a gremolata. Is that, which, is that um, this right here? It is. Um, it has some parsley, lemon zest, a little bit of garlic, and then we add uh, some rustic breadcrumbs that have been toasted off in olive oil, mm. and then some pumpkin seeds that we toast separately. Delicious. Uh, and what that's going to do is just add a little bit of texture on the top. Mm -hmm. um, we don't finish this with cheese, parmesan, something like that, because it's made out of cheese. But right. of course, if you want <laughs> to, if you like there. that kind of salty that. note, right. um, you know, feel free. And mm -hmm. uh, in the summertime, we use you know, light pestos and things like that with the gnocchi and think great. it's really great as well. How long do those take to cook? Because they seem to already they be floating to, to they the float top. Pretty easy. They start to float, um, but it takes a, a couple minutes longer because it's a it's not at a rapid boil. Mm -hmm. And what will happen oftentimes, if you pull it out early, it'll be a little bit raw in the middle. So you don't want that raw dough. No. But these actually have enough structure that they can cook for a couple minutes um, and not be overcooked. It's not um, oh, okay. like a traditional pasta where it'll start to fall apart. Okay, uh, which is perfect. really nice. So good. in the home kitchen, if you have to walk away for a second, the kids, it's okay. you don't have to look over something like that. that. You don't have to yeah, worry you about can it. do that. Okay. So once they are cooked, what you, you put them in the pan here? Put them in a pan. Um, we add a little bit of water. Uh, what's actually really nice to use is some of the starchy pasta water. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what it'll do is um, it basically just thickens up naturally and it creates a sauce okay. uh, with the greens. These are just blanched, but you could braise them. You could add a little bit of white wine, something like that for flavoring if you okay. want. Um, and you basically just warm them through. Mm -hmm. We've added a little bit of butter. You can add a lot of butter if you want. <laughs> uh, we do on a cold day like this in the, like. In, the, in the winter. Um, and then this is basically a sweet potato that we've just cooked down in a little bit of water with some onion and then we pureed it. Yum. Uh, so. If you want it smooth, you can have it like that. If you want it rustic, uh, you could roast some pumpkin, roast some sweet potato. And then mix okay. it all together. Yeah, and then mix it all together. Delicious. And then, uh, for plating, we basically just put this down on the bottom, and this okay. acts as uh, like a sauce. Oh, okay. So, nice. So um, it'll sit there. And quickly, before we let you go, we will see the plated one at the end of the show. Where are you guys located? Uh, 959 Hope Street, over on the east side of Providence, all right. All right, uh, by great. Lippet Park. You're going to have Very to check good. it out. If you want this recipe, head on over to WPRI.com.